your local Las Vegas weather. It is Groundhog Day. Our friend Punxsutawney Phil saw his shadow, so that means six more weeks of winter. But I wanted to get the Groundhog in studio with us tonight. So Punxsutawney Phil, come on out. And we want to talk about just how accurate Phil is with his weather forecasts when it comes to our weather here in Las Vegas. So let's lay down the Groundhog rules. I crunched the numbers today, and the way we did it is, of course, when he sees his shadow, it means six more weeks of winter. So I want to take a look at the next six weeks, taking us through March 16th. If the average temperature was above normal, we consider that an early, uh, early spring. If it was below normal, well, we considered that a longer winter. Now, we broke down the last 10 years. Uh, Phil predicted a late winter last year and early spring in 2020. He was right the last two years, but you can see there's a lot of years that were wrong. So Phil's track record over the last 10 years here in Las Vegas was actually 50% accuracy rate. But don't sweat it, Phil. We love Phil, but we know we don't rely on a rodent. We, we rely on a reptile here in Las Vegas in Southern Nevada. That is Mojave Max, the desert tortoise at the Springs Preserve. When Max comes out of his burrow, well, that's how we know spring is here. So let's take a look at the last 10 years on when Max emerged. Now, last year, Max came out a little late. In fact, one of the latest years on record, it was April 15th when he came out. But Max has been out of his burrow as early as Valentine's Day in years past. So here are the last uh, 10 years. Usually it's March or April Max emerges. So we'll be keeping an eye at the Springs Preserve. Always fun to see what Mojave Max 